Welcome back to something big time. Today I've got the King Venom. This is my buddy Renee's watch. He was nice enough to uh, let me unwrap it for him and uh, size it and make a video. This is model 27696. Triple black. 360 now ion plated steel. This is a, a Swiss caliber ETA G10.211 quartz watch. 53 millimeter case. 23 millimeters tall. It's got a 26 millimeter wide bracelet. And it's got that awesome 3D coil snake around the outer dial. And then around the sub dials and the heads at the 6 o'clock. I'll give you some close ups here at the end of the video. But we're going to start with the sizing. I love unwrapping new watches. Even though this one isn't mine, it's still fun. Almost done removing the plastic, and we'll get the sizing. Now this is the first time sizing the Venom on my channel, but it's uh, business as usual, nothing too special. A folded link, this is an appendant sleeve. So you've got to follow the arrows on this one. The pin and sleeve, if you don't follow the arrows, it's not a big deal. But this folded pin, you've got to follow the arrows. So you can see those facing south. So that's the way I'm going to lay it into the uh, bracelet holder. My buddy's got a smaller wrist than I do, so I put one of my Grand Octanes on him just to figure out how many links to take out for him, and then put it to myself, and I know I need to take out one to two more links than uh, I would take out for myself. So that's why I did this, because he's not present. And then what I did is I put the micro adjustment at the furthest extension, so that if I had to adjust in... I could, and I actually did. When I gave them back to him, I needed to adjust the micro adjustments, like one adjustment on each watch. So you're probably wondering why I just took three out on one side. And it's because I already have a game plan. I'm taking two out on the other side. So when you have an odd number like that, it's impossible to take them out even because you have an odd number. So if I'm going to take out an extra one, it's always going to be on the 12 o'clock. There's a folded pin there, I'm trying to show you guys. And if you wonder why I take it out on the 12 o'clock and not the 6 o'clock, the 12 o'clock side is the side that faces away from me. That's not the photo opportunity side. So I want the side that faces me when I bend my arm in to take a photo of my watch. I want that side to be more bracelet, less clasp. So I always... uh take out if I have to take out more I always take them out at the 12 o'clock so if you were a lefty and you wear your watch on your right hand you want to do the opposite no I guess you wouldn't it'd still be the same I thought that'd be the opposite but it's not now with these uh folded pins I always give them an extra tap after I get them in with the hammer to ensure that they're in tight. And uh, I recommend you do the same. So once you get them in there nice and flush with the hammer, just give a couple extra little love taps to make sure that pin's in there. You don't want to hit it too hard and push it all the way through the other side. You just want to get it to where it's in there and ain't going to fall out.
Got the mosaic on the wrist. Now I'm just trying this on to see how I'm doing as far as size wise. Now when I'm done sizing it, I shouldn't be able to get over my hand. If it fits over my hand, then it's too big for him. There's something about Venoms. They're just awesome watches. And after the giveaway, I only have one left. Right now, currently, I have three in my collection, but I'm giving two of those away to lucky subscribers. So help us get to that goal so we can give that watch away. Not this one here, but the two Venoms I have. And if, uh, if you haven't seen the giveaway video, I'll put a link in the description. And uh, if you're not a member of my watch group, Big Ass Watches, and you're on Facebook, check us out. I'll put a, also put a link for that in my description. And if you're on Twitter and Instagram and you want sneak peeks at the next video, tell me big time on Instagram and Twitter. So there you go. There's the other two links. Now we got five links out. Give it a few love taps before I get carried away and push the pin in. Make sure I can't get it on me. And I forced it on. <laughs> now this is where I figured if I can barely get over my hand, have the micro adjustment all the way out. I've got what five micro adjustment holes to adjust. I should be able to get it just right for him. So this is what I was talking about with pushing it in the extra little bit just to make sure that pin is in there well. Those little details like that are important so your watch doesn't just fall off your wrist one day when you're walking somewhere. That's no good. Now I'd like to show this part to you. So I took out three pin or three links on one side and two links on the other side. Now I'm putting the pin back in to connect them so they're five solid links together. Picking up that extra pin. And they all go into the same bag. All pins, all links. And Renee, welcome to the Invicta family. Watching Tommy big time. He's already bought three of them, and I'll be featuring all three here on, on uh, my channel. So this is the first of his three that I decided to feature first. And there's that snake I was talking about with the head at the 6 o'clock. This is the King Venom, model 27696. That's 23 millimeters thick right there. Big, thick case. Nice weight to it. This is screw down, pushers and crown. Unidirectional bezel. Good looking piece. So if you're not subscribed, please do. Enjoy the photos. Have a great day and God bless.